Hi YouTube, in this video we're going to prove that the function f of x equal to x over x minus 1 is uniformly continuous on the set 2 to infinity. Before we do the proof, let's recall what it means for a function to be uniformly continuous. So we say a function f is uniformly continuous uniformly continuous In this case, on the set bracket 2 to infinity, if for every epsilon greater than 0, we can find some delta greater than 0, such that for all x, y in this set, so x and y are in the set 2 to infinity, with the distance between x and y being smaller than delta, we have the distance between f of x and f of y being smaller than epsilon. So we have. <laughs> All right. So before we do this proof, um, we have to actually figure it out. Um, so. I kind of did like a little sketch before making this video, so we should be able to do it. If not, we'll just delete the video. Let's try it. So scratch work. All right. So we know that we will have um, the distance between x and y less than delta. Well, we have that to work with. And we have our epsilon, and it's greater than 0. And we know that x and y are in this set here, 2 to infinity. And we have to show that the distance between f of x and f of y is less than epsilon. So if we look at that distance, uh, f of x is x over x minus 1. And then f of y is y over y minus 1. And this has to be less than epsilon. So the natural thing to do here is perform the subtraction. So the LCD here is x minus 1, y minus 1. And then to perform the subtraction, it's just x, and then here you're missing y minus 1, minus, and then y, and what's missing here, x minus 1. So just performing the subtraction here of the fractions. And then you distribute. So I'm going to come up here. So we get the absolute value. Let's see, we would get xy minus x, right, distributing the x, minus yx, and then it looks like it's plus y in this case. That's all over um, the LCD, so x minus 1, y minus 1. Okay. Uh, does anything cancel here? Yeah, these cancel, so that's good. Okay. So we get the absolute value of y minus x over the absolute value of x minus 1, and then here we have y minus 1. All right, you can rewrite uh, y minus x as x minus y. It's the same thing, right? The distance between y and x is the same as the distance between x and y. And then here on the bottom, we still have the absolute value of um, x minus 1. You know what? I'm not going to write it in absolute value. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go back to what I had before, right? This is just scratch work. We can just go back and forth. And we're almost stuck here, right? So at this point, we know that this is, we can say this is less than delta. And then we have this bottom piece here. We have the x minus 1, and then we have the y minus 1. And we're kind of stuck because we have these, this, this bottom term here. Like, how do we deal with, with this nonsense here? So you want this to be you know, less than epsilon, but we're stuck. So here's where you have to go back and think about this. x and y, let's just take x, for instance, is in this set here, 2 to infinity. Right? So the problem told us this. This is probably important, right? So that means that x is greater than or equal to 2. You say, OK, I have x greater than or equal to 2. And then down here, I have an x minus 1, right? So how can you make this look like what we have down here? Well, what I was thinking is we can subtract 1 from both sides. So if you do x minus 1, then this becomes a 1 over here on the right-hand side, right? You just do minus 1 on both sides. Then you can divide by x minus 1 on both sides, and so you would get 1 greater than or equal to 1 over x minus 1. Aha! So you get 1 over x minus 1 less than or equal to 1. So you can do the same thing with y, 
right? So this should be less than or equal to, let me scroll down a little bit so you can see it. So this should be less than or equal to delta over one times one, right? So if we make delta equal to epsilon, we got it, right? We, we will have it. So now we can do our proof and we can repeat everything we just did in a more elegant way. So let's go ahead and do the proof. Let me scroll up a little bit more, a little bit more. There, there it is, okay. So let's start the proof. So we'll start the proof by letting epsilon be greater than zero. And we're gonna choose uh, our delta to be equal to epsilon. So then, so then for all x and y in this set with the distance between x and y smaller than delta, we're going to look at the distance between f of x and f of y. So f of x in this case is x over x minus 1. And f of y is y over y minus 1. Kind of a fun problem. Um, the LCD is x minus 1, y minus 1. So this is going to be absolute value x, y minus 1, minus y, x minus 1, over x minus 1, y minus 1. This is something we did earlier, the subtraction, right? You could, you could multiply this by y minus 1 over y minus 1, and this by x minus 1 over x minus 1, same thing. Um, let's go ahead and distribute here. So this will be the absolute value of xy minus x, right, distributing the x, and then minus yx, and looks like it's plus y, right, plus y. Easy to mess up here. Right, because negative and negative is positive. And then we have x minus 1, y minus 1. These cancel. Okay, these cancel. Let's go ahead and rewrite this down here. So this is equal to, so we have the absolute value of negative x plus y over x minus 1, y minus 1. I didn't mean to write it that way. Let's write it as like this, let's write it as the absolute value of y minus x over the absolute value of x minus 1, y minus 1, absolute value. We know that the absolute value of y minus x is the same thing as the absolute value of x minus y, so I'll rewrite it one more time just for clarity. Then we still have this x minus 1 and the y minus 1 on the bottom here. And we know that uh, x minus y is less than delta. So this is less than delta over all of this stuff down here. So we have uh, x minus 1, y minus 1. And I'll mention it again, and I'll go through the thought process again. But we know that since, since uh, x is bigger than 2, right, x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 1. So 1 over x minus 1 is less than or equal to 1, right? So we get this. So we can put a less than or equal to here and replace these with 1s. This is delta 1 times 1. This is delta, and this is equal to epsilon. And this step here, this step here, this is, this is let me just mention it over here. This step here, this is since, just a little side note, just to make it really clear. Since x and y are in this set, right, just for emphasis, that means both x and y are greater than or equal to 2. That means x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 1. Therefore, that means 1 over x minus 1 is less than or equal to 1. Likewise, that means y minus 1 is greater than or equal to 1. So 1 over y minus 1 is less than or equal to 1, right? And therefore, the product is less than or equal to 1, right? And you might say, well, can you just multiply these? Yeah, these are all positive, right? Everything here is positive because x and y are bigger than 2. So you can multiply these, and the product is less than or equal to 1. So they're each less than or equal to 1 times 1, which is 1. So no problems. So that completes the proof. That completes the proof. I hope this video has been helpful. Um, thanks for visiting. That's it.